friends welcome to my channel in this particular lockdown this year i was reading a lot of research papers on how to study smartly study techniques memorizing techniques then i was also looking at certain toppers and how they have been studying in different fields and how they were able to succeed and i was surprised to know that a lot of techniques that came up after reading these research papers were the ones which i used during my ugc net prep and i used them unknowingly i never knew that they were backed up with uh, so much scientific evidence so when i was able to see that these techniques are working out for everybody and i have personally experimented with them and i have seen the results where i was able to clear ugc net in just one attempt using these techniques so i thought that why not share it with everyone out there so in this video i'm going to talk about six amazing techniques that can help you study smarter and crack ugc net in just one attempt now the video title is showing best study technique but the reason i'm not just going to share one technique because i believe all individuals are different and how can everybody study and succeed in the same way so what i have done instead is that i'm going to give you six techniques now you can either incorporate all of them in your study routine or you can test them one by one and then start using whichever works best for you so here i am with the very first technique so in order to understand the very first study technique you must understand that learning has two components one is understanding and one is memorizing right a lot of people have seen do either of these two things they don't do both of them together there are certain students who will understand every topic but will not memorize it in that case when they go and sit in the exam they are going to write a long paragraphs not use keywords not write appropriate things similarly if you are doing an mcq paper then in that case what you will do is you will remember what you have understood but you will not remember exactly because you have not memorized it and then there are certain students who would memorize who would rectify but will not understand now what trait i have seen in almost every topper is that they use both the aspects of learning they would memorize but before memorizing they will understand without understanding no learning can take place aapko ek topic ko pehle samajhna hoga samajhne ke baad use yaad karna hoga yaad karna means memorization some people even call it ratta marna aap bina samjhe ratta nahi maar sakte kyunki itna bada syllabus hai and questions bhi direct nahi aa rahe hain confuse karne ke liye twist karke wo questions aapko dete hain so unless and until you have not understood you will never be able to memorize properly so ensure or that the first technique you use is that anything you study you first understand and then you also memorize don't just understand and leave the topic no you have to memorize it the next important study technique is study like a teacher aap jab bhi padhe ensure that you are studying as if you have to teach this topic to the entire world when i was preparing for my net exam every topic that i used to study i used to study as if this topic i will be teaching in future in a college in front of 100 students so i should know all the aspects of this topic that should be your approach aisa nahi hai ki agar aapne ek page padha usme aapko ek paragraph samajh nahi aaya so you just skip that paragraph no you have to make sure that you either google you ask your friends you do anything on this earth but you understand that paragraph iska ek benefit aur hai friends whenever you study in depth kai bar aapko agar upri upri cheeze yaad nahi rehti but because aapne uska itna in depth mein study kiya hai wo links connect hoke wo cheez aapko exam mein yaad aayegi for example if i tell you that john milton who was a famous english poet has written a work called aeropagitica Now if I ask you this thing after 2 years will you remember the name of the work I don't think so but if I tell you that aeropagitica was written in 1643 jab licensing order pass hua licensing order ye tha ki koi bhi book pamphlet ya magazine bina government ke permission aur copy ke 
पब्लिश नहीं हो सकती इट हैज टू बी प्रूफ रेड बाई गवर्नमेंट ऑफिशियल्स इन ओनली देन इट विल बी पब्लिश नाउ जॉन मिल्टन वॉज अ राइटर हु अपोज दिस इन द वर्क एरोपेजिटिका ही सेड दैट एरो यू नो वेन एवर यू आर प्रूफ रीडिंग देन इन दैट केस यू माइट एडिट द इंफॉर्मेशन दैट वी आर सेंग अगेंस्ट द गवर्नमेंट इन दैट केस यू आर वॉयलेटिंग आर फ्रीडम ऑफ स्पीच so he wrote this pamphlet and offered it to the lord protector of england who was oliver cromwell now now that i've given you so much background information i have given you certain other facts about aeropagitica after 2 years if i ask you there is a fair chance that you might remember something about this but if i've just told you that john milton has written a word aeropagitica you will remember nothing so that is where studying in depth helps another important memorization technique is learning by making stories now before we talk about this in detail let me tell you a very very important scientific fact we remember three things very clearly stories locations and emotions so if you can attach all these three things or at least one of these three things in your study routine then you will not forget that information easily now let's come back and understand how can we make stories so whenever you are reading anything make sure that you highlight the key points and from those key points you try to make a story we all have learned kakha gagada in our childhood do we remember it now if i ask you to write uh hindi alphabets in order will you be able to write the swarn mala and vyanjan mala you won't why because they were not backed up with a story but we all remember the planet's name why because we made a story my very educated mother so mercury venus earth mars what we did we took the initials and we tried to form a story and we remember all those planets in the order the same thing happened whenever you study so whenever you are studying just ensure that you highlight the keywords and by taking the keywords you make any story any fictional story you will remember it for example you are reading a writer t s eliot there are four works or four plays written by him now you take keywords from those four plays and you try to make a story suppose there's um, another writer who has written five novels that you have to learn in order highlight the five words and then try to make the story in that order it can be any story you can have a word like horse you can have a word like sea you can have a word like cloud in three novels so you can say that there is a horse standing near the sea and there's a cloud which is right above his face you made a story and this story is going to pictorial story that would fit inside your brain and you will be able to remember those three words in that picture and by remembering the three words you will remember the name of the place the next thing that we remember are locations have you ever observed that the place you go regularly you automatically are able to drive to that place even if consciously you are thinking about something else like i go to my zumba class every day it's 5 kilometers from my house so whenever i'm going to my zumba class and i'm driving i am either listening to songs or a podcast or i'm either speaking to my teammates on phone and sometimes i reach my zumba class and then i realize that oh my god i've traveled 5 kilometers and i did not even think about which direction to take the next turn because it has seeped inside my memory so much that i am going to do it unconsciously the same theory you have to apply when you study so whenever you are studying use the same set of notes in a paper when you are writing the name of the topic and then the sub points those sub points wherever they are written on the page those locations are imprinted in your memory so don't keep on changing the books study from the same book highlight the same things and study them repeatedly if you are making notes make sure you reread the notes again and again because the note locations wherever you have written different things that will get imprinted in your brain suppose there's a two side copy on one side you have written three works of a writer on other side you have written two works of the writer now if you have read this thing quite sometimes 
then in that case if i ask you that okay this particular work where was it written you will be exactly be able to tell me the location you will say on the left side towards the uh, bottom margin this work was written this is how locations help you to remember things fast and for a longer period of time next is emotions use emotions whenever you are studying that doesn't mean you have to be angry or you have to cry when you are reading a chapter you have to associate different emotions with different topics for example you are studying a summary of a play now that play has got a lot of patriotic elements so why not draw a flag there so that you remember the theme of the play or suppose you are studying a topic which you hate why not draw a red color angry icon showcasing that you hate this topic now whenever anger will come you will automatically understand and you know your brain will link it up to that particular topic so by using different emotions by making emoticons in different topics you will be able to boost your memory in a more better way for example we all remember different incidents of our life which had a gush of emotions for example if i ask you that when were you the happiest you will be able to recall that memory but if i ask you what did you do on 17th of june 2018 will you remember no because you don't remember the emotion so you have to involve emotions when you are learning and only by combining these two you will be able to reinforce your learning even better and finally i come to the most important and the game changer strategy which is revision guys uh, any competitive exam you take you will find that around 9 to 10 lakh students appear for that exam but only 1 or 2% students qualify now what separates this 1% student with the 90% 9% students it's revision because dhakka maar ke har koi syllabus to exam se pehle complete kar leta hai you believe it or not you would see this that almost every student is able to complete the syllabus before the exam but the only thing that toppers do and the normal average students don't is revision the mantra of your studies should be one book one topic one teacher multiple revisions that should be your mantra one book one topic one teacher multiple revisions aap ek topic ko 15 teachers se pad lo 10 books se pad lo but agar aapne use revise nahi kiya hai it is a waste aaj jo aapne padha wo 3 mahine baad yaad hi nahi rahega to aap kitna bhi pad lo that will not make you a game changer what your strategy should be that any day you study for a topic for example today you studied a topic and you finished that topic in 2 hours your target for the next day should be to revise this topic in 1.5 hours kal aapko ye topic wapas se revise karna hai jo bhi copy mein aapne notes banaye hain wapas se us copy mein aapko revise karna hai 1.5 ghante mein फिर परसो दैट इज नेक्स्ट टू नेक्स्ट डे यू हैव टू अगेन रिवाइज इट एंड दैट रिविजन विल नॉट टेक मोर देन फोर्टी मिनट्स एंड फाइनली यू हैव टू रिवाइज इट अगेन ऑन द नेक्स्ट डे इन फिफ्टीन मिनट्स सो सपोज यू स्टडी द टॉपिक ऑन मंडे ट्यूजडे को डेढ़ घंटा लगाइए वापस से वो टॉपिक याद करिए डेढ़ घंटे में वेडनेसडे को वापस से फोर्टी मिनट्स में उसे रिवाइज करिए एंड थर्सडे को 15 मिनट्स के अंदर आप वो रिवाइज कर पाएंगे एंड अगर आपने ये तीन रिवीजन कर लिए तो आई एम गारंटिंग यू कि आपको एक महीने बाद अगर आप वापस से वो बुक खोलेंगे आपको वो टॉपिक याद होगा बट इफ यू हैव स्टडीड अ टॉपिक टुडे डिड नॉट रिवाइज इट टुडे डिड नॉट रिवाइज इट इन अ वीक देन एक महीने बाद दैट टॉपिक विल अगेन बिकम एलियन टू यू यू विल नॉट इवन रिमेंबर अ सिंगल वर्ड सो वॉट्स द पॉइंट यू कीप ऑन स्टडिंग यू कीप ऑन फॉर गेटिंग सो टॉपर्स मेक श्योर दैट दे इन्वेस्ट टाइम इन रिविजन सो आई होप दीज सिक्स टेक्निक्स विल हेल्प यू इन performing your best on the day of the exam i would like to know from you that what are the study techniques that have worked for you in life put that in the comment section below and i would love to read all of them so that's it from my side for this video lecture i'll meet you very soon in the next video lecture till the time i meet next happy learning keep loving literature and stay tuned to arpitakarwa.com